folks, I am Ultrazilla, and this is the Ultra Z News Weekend Update. The only toy news, not for views, but for all of yous. To a day, uh, we got some cool toy news to talk about. A little bit of everything. We got the kaiju, we got the robots, we got the toku stuff, and we got more. It's, uh, you know, diversity. It is the diversity that we celebrate here at Ultrazilla, even if maybe you don't. <laughs> because I am here on a mission to get more diversity into your collection. So without any further ado, let's get to the news. And let's kick things off with a little kaiju because Super 7 announced their latest wave of reaction figures. That's right, Toho reaction figures, including Godzilla 55, as well as Angaris 55, Mogera 57, and Baragon 65. That's all right, my Zillions, a nice little collection here. Here is Angiris in all his black and white glory, and Mogera, always love this Mogera. Baragon from Frankenstein Conquers the World is always a classic. I like that he's upright. And of course, Godzilla 55, Godzilla Raids again. So it's a nice set for sure. Uh, if you're into these, uh, they are up for ordering right now. Let's move on to some SH Figu Arts Ultraman action with Ace Killer. That's right, my zillions. Ace, Ultraman Ace's enemy Ace Killer is here in all his evil glory. It is a P Bandai exclusive, but he comes with all kinds of accessories, including a massive, massive Ultra Brothers a crucifixion, pretty much diorama. You get all the crosses you're going to need. Obviously, you get all the stuff, accessories you need for Ace for the scene. Look at all of this. Yes, this set is going to run you a little bit. It's close to 200 bucks. Uh, it's going to run you over that, you know, with shipping and everything. It is a P Bandai exclusive. But look at what you can do with this. So really an extraordinary uh, looking set from uh, Ultraman SH Figure Arts. Next up, we got a couple of Super Robot kits uh, from Bandai. Included Daltanius. That's right. The original Voltron himself. What? Yeah, well, you know, he was supposed to be a Voltron. Thankfully, he wasn't, but Daltanius uh, has a special place in my heart. This is in the SMP line. So, uh, it's a very cool kit for sure. And then we got Gingayo. Uh, that's all right. From uh, the Super Sentai series. Uh, yeah, this guy is looking fantastic as well. Two SMP kits for all you robot lovers and the two good ones. But we're not done with robots because in the Soul of Chogokin line, Voltes 5 is a back in a GX31 SP edition. That's right, a little bit different this time around for your Voltes. Little bit of a slight re-tweak uh, of the colors, little slight retweak of what you get. Uh, it is a very, very nice looking Voltes 5 for sure. One that I don't have and uh, would be interested in. Moving over to Revoltech. This was a really cool surprise. But Yu-Gi-Oh! E-Hero is here. Uh, and he looks awesome. I don't really know much about this guy at all. But I love this aesthetic. There's no doubt about it. Kind of reminds me of uh, that Japanese hero that Stan Lee created. You guys remember what I'm talking about? Because I forgot his name, honestly. But uh, this reminds me of that. And uh, I'm kind of attracted to this for that reason. Uh, but yeah, a very cool looking Revoltech for sure. 3-0 has some G1 uh, looking uh, repaints of their M Deluxe Optimus Prime Megatron. And Bumblebee. And I gotta say, all three of these look better than their originals. Um, so check those out. Pre-order is up shortly. Next, we talked about the Four Horsemen Retailer Appreciation Wave last week. Almost in full. Because uh, there was one more that they announced on Monday. And it is this Cosmic Legions uh, figure that is a homage uh, to the classic adventure people from Fisher Price. How cool is that? 
that is a nice one. Uh, you know, that's kind of on the heels of Imagine X in recent years doing their own uh, versions of uh, those guys. Uh, so that's pretty awesome to see Four Horsemen doing this as well. Kotobukiya is reissuing their Super X2 with uh, the little Mazer tank set. And that's pretty cool. It's up on HLJ right now. Uh, and uh, you can also order yourself more Mazer tanks if you choose us, right? Because it's going to have a separate release. So if you're in uh, the market for some Mazer tanks and uh, the Super X2, these are uh, two sets to get. Next up, we have some uh, early leaks out in the wild of some new Transformers, including a core class Transmetal Cheetor. This was uh, found, I believe, in South America. Um, so that's pretty interesting. It looks fantastic. Definitely uh, something on my radar. And this one, just right before I came uh, to record, a new studio series concept art sunstreaker from the bumblebee movie was found in new jersey not too far from me honestly uh, so that is pretty cool makes me want to take a ride to my target or even though that one was found at walmart i don't have a tar i don't have a walmart here so target is gonna have to be if it is around let's stick with transformers but how about a little knockoff action uh haven't talked about anything like this in a while but we got a Trypticon that is downscaled from its Titan class to about 11 inches, which is eh, roughly uh, Legend scale. Maybe a little bit short for Legend scale, but, you know, because it's got to be that much bigger than a Legend scale Transformer. But, uh, yeah, uh, this is something right up my alley. As you can see from these pics, it's a Show Z Star, which is uh, one place that actually has up a pre-order right now. The price is going to run you 80 something bucks or so. Not bad for an 11 inch Trypticon, I would say. Um, I think that's pretty awesome. I am definitely very, very interested in this. I do have the Titan Class Trypticon, but I'm a big Trypticon fan. I like this design and I like the idea of it being smaller. Uh, I did get the downsize Devastator when it came out, and that thing was awesome. I don't know if it's the same company. These companies change names a million times, but this looks fantastic. And definitely something I think I'm going to uh, get because it's uh, suddenly like jumped up onto like my most anticipated things coming out shortly. Speaking of things that are going to be awesome, I believe I touched upon this briefly in one recent news, but here's some really cool new picks of a Reboar's Chinese Dragon that's coming out. It looks to be a little bit articulated too, so that is pretty awesome. Or is it a lot of bit articulated? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but whatever it is, I think the design looks pretty pretty amazing here it is with a similar don and uh look at this thing this thing just looks gorgeous so very nice design definitely interested in this one rebor so um yeah let, let's uh let's keep seeing more of this and get those pre-orders up because i definitely want to check this out further Kit's concept is doing a 172 series Zendrati Battle Pod with Gluger. That's all right, my zillions. Another awesome Robotech uh, coming uh, from Kit's concept. I've only reviewed one of these things, but they were very cool. About this, McFarlane's got some very cool anniversary spawns coming with an animated commando spawn, a remastered Hell Spawn, a th issue 311, a spawn kind of statue, and then definitely the main event here. It is a two pack with Todd. McFarlane himself, the Todd father, and a concept spawn. This is the original concept that Todd had for spawn outfit. It, it has like a very Mexican wrestler vibe to him, like he should have been teaming with La Parker back in the day. Uh, uh, that one really speaks to me, but that, that animated uh, commando spawn is very cool as well. Mezco had uh, their Mezco Toys uh, Fair, their little in place of a uh, toy fair, and they revealed 
the Goonies and their five points line. They reveal a bunch of other stuff, but this was the only thing that, like, you know, made me go, oh, that's sweet. Um, they didn't really have anything for us, you know, Tokusatsu fans. No Ultraman, no no uh, Godzilla stuff. So, a little bit of a bummer there. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. But, you know, uh, it is what it is. Hey, Goonies, right? Marvel Legends had a bunch of reveals this week, uh, including a new wave with the stars uh, being Kazar and Zabu. Uh, that's right, Zabu being uh, the uh, build a figure. Unfortunately, I would have loved a two pack with just those two. You also get uh, Cable and another Iron Man and the Macri and a uh, you know Wolf's Bane and a couple of others that I don't know. Uh, but man. I don't know. I think it's a, a wasted opportunity for a really, really cool Savage Land 2-pack to have done that. I, I think that would have turned out really, really sweet. Could happen in the future. Because um, I have no interest in getting this wave at all. But I would have loved to get that 2-pack. Limit Run Games is... Uh, Limited Run Games is doing a collector's edition Contra set. Uh, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because uh, they actually have a couple of 118 scale figures of our titular heroes, uh, our Contra fighters uh, in the set. And that is a uh, pretty, pretty sweet. If you're an old school Contra fan, this might be something to check out. And last but not least, speaking of things that were found in the wild. I, well, I spoke about it earlier. Hey, I found a Funko Pop kong that's a target exclusive that i had no clue about just totally missed the news if it was out there and my apologies because i didn't report it but i found it at target so hey if you didn't know like i didn't know there's a target exclusive gx gxk kong out there it's part of uh target con 2024 uh, so, uh, do go to your targets and give that a check. Give yourself a buy of it like I did. Uh, sorry for the really blurry pick. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, but you can expect a review of that tomorrow. And that's the news, guys. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content. And let me help you diversify your collection. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.